Good morning. Welcome to the Life Motivators. We are the entrepreneurs that come here on a day-to-day -day basis to bring energy, to bring our love, to bring our elevations of frequencies to that higher level. Every day as we are living life, most of us have experienced from going from warm temperatures to cool temperatures. As the seasons are changing, so are we. We're evolving beings on this planet on a day-to-day -day basis. As we evolve, we're having our stories of life, of where we want to go and what we want to do, and the places we want to go and visit, the people we want to see, things like that. So are you actually moving and living the story that you keep telling yourself? Is it a story of positive energy? Is it a story that is moving yourself and moving others around you? Or is it just you living the same Groundhog Day after day after day after day? Many of us was there at one time as well because we wanted something more but didn't know how to get it until we surrounded ourselves with people that could show us a different path, a different perspective, a different way of thinking, a different mindset all in general. And as we started thinking and understanding that we have a bigger power within us, a power so strong that we can harness and move ourselves to that story that we truly want to live. Many of us work a job and that's the only thing we're going to work. I talked to a guy yesterday and I said, when are you looking to retire in life? Well, I'm 52 now, probably about 71. And I said, you haven't planned out a better dream or a better story that you want for your life to be able to have everything in place, all the financials, no worries, no stress, and to be able to live the life that you truly want. And he's like, well, not really. And then that's when we started talking about stories. As Miss Jen had told us just a minute ago, your stories are what matter because you are the one that are making them. You're the one that can design them. You're the one that can create the story that you want to live to go and visit and do the things that you want to do on a day-to-day -day basis. Once you get yourself into a better balance of life of not just working, 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 Oh, until I die, we don't have to have that kind of mindset anymore. We can actually go out there and enjoy our life while we're living and having fun and loving the things that we're doing on a day-to-day -day basis, because that's the energy that we want to put out there with the energy started with a thought. That thought right there produced more energy within you to put out more vibrations to the universe to say, I would like more of this within my life. And then look, it's going to start coming because you are looking and believing within you so wholeheartedly that the energy that you're putting to it is what's going to make it happen. Because if we don't think it first, it shall never happen. But once we learned how to put the power of this little tool right here that you can buy at any dollar store, Bunches of them at a time. With the power of this pen right here, we have been able to write new stories and create new journeys for ourselves on the places that we want to go and the things that we want to experience within life. And if I wouldn't learn how to truly journal and then write it all down and then surround myself with people who inspire me to keep going because the crazy ideas that I was having downloaded that I was writing on the paper is like, man, that could never happen. Those words that I was telling myself, it could never happen. You're right. It was never going to happen until I changed those words. But those words saying, this is going to be an awesome journey that I'm going to get to take one day. This is going to be an awesome adventure that I get to experience with all these people right here one day. As we're traveling around the country, doing more speakings and being able to introduce this to more people on having how to have a better life, to be able to build businesses or to take existing businesses and move them to another level was something that I never thought that I was going to be doing. I thought I was going to work till I was retired just like that man yesterday. But I learned that I could retire at a younger age and I would be able to live my life and travel and go and do and hang out at the beach for a week if I wanted or a month at a time to be able to spend the time with my loved ones that I wasn't able to do before. When I started saying I can do this and I will do this, my life started shifting because of the words that I was putting to it. And then having the gratitude that we talk about within here every day, the gratitude for the roof and the food and the clothes and the beautiful people that I get to surround myself with every day. That right there has shifted my life, the love that has come into my life. I have never truly had someone that loved me and supported me in everything that I was doing. 
within life and to now have someone that does and for me to support her in the things that she does as well is a total different plan that I have within my life but yes I'm creating more with her and creating more within my life of where we're going because this is a bigger adventure that we see now instead of just looking at the small picture of we're going to live in this house. We're going to be on this piece of property for the rest of our life. And we're not going to move forward. This is what we have. This is where it's going to be. This is where we'll retire and die. That's not our mindset anymore. We know we have adventures in us. We know that we're still young enough to go and do and have fun and be able to meet people across the world and shift their lives as well. How could we shift other people's lives? By the words that we speak by the communication and the connections of just a good handshake and saying hello as we pass people along the beach or in a hallway or in a grocery store. Just that little shifting of that smile that you have on your face can shift other people's energy from where they were at before. Many of us get up on a day-to-day -day basis and not truly plan or write out or have a scheduled set of what you're going to do today. Most get up and start complaining about life from immediately when they hit their floor because they're complaining about their job. They're complaining about their loved ones or they're complaining about the lack of. Start shifting your perspective of saying thank you for what you already have. Because as you do that right there, then that will bring so much more back into your life. Having that gratitude of the abundance that you already have, the places that you've already been, you have the one that has created that with the thought processes and you're like, I created my life with my thoughts. Yes. Every place, everything, everything that you're doing is all started within our thought processes. So get out each day, wake up with an alignment first, give gratitude for what you already have and the places that you're going and that you want to go, the adventures that you want to take. And as you're doing them, Say thank you that I've had the monetary funds to be able to do it. Thank you for the car that got me here. Thank you for the wonderful physical body that I have to be able to take care of all the tasks that are set forth in front of you today. Thank you for the wisdom that you have to be able to understand with the processes and that you are willing to learn as well. My son is 24, fixing to be 25 years of age. And every day he's asking me, Daddy, did you learn anything today? Yes, I will learn until I die. Every day I will wake up and learn something new because the people that I get to surround myself with are the new people that I get to meet. I am listening to what they're saying. I'm listening to the conversations and their stories. And I'm learning from those experiences as well. And it's making me a better person each day, molding me into a bigger person, a broader person, a full well-being to be able to walk on this earth. And to be able to experience the things that we have within this life, that's a learning curve as well. Do we know it all? Not at all. But are we learning? Yes. Our thought processes, our words that we are speaking, we are creating more every day. Did you think that that cell phone that you're using this morning was just popped up at Walmart one day and said, hey, it's here. Come buy it. It all started with one idea. One idea that most people thought he was crazy. Facebook, well, people use that. Seven billion people on this planet and they probably have four billion people connected every morning. And with those connections right there, was that all thoughted? With one idea. And those people that he offered it to, those three different buddies that he offered it to, they all thought he was crazy. Look where it's at now. So just know that the ideas that you have within your head, they're not crazy. Write them down. Keep going for them. Keep moving yourself in the direction to make them happen because you will connect with the right people that will connect you to the other people that need to make things fall right in alignment. And it is so much fun to have that happen. We've been reading the book, The Magic by Rhonda Bryant. Today we're on chapter 10 and Miss Crystal will be reading chapter 10 for us today. So if you don't have your hard copy in Life Motivators, there is a PDF that you will be able to download it from there and read it 
or you can get with one of us and maybe go to Amazon and be able to purchase it as well. So if bookstores, books a million here in the States and within the other countries, I'm sure you have bookstores as well. You can go and grab it. So we're going to pass this one on to Miss Crystal to keep us flowing. Go ahead, Miss Crystal. Good morning, everybody. <clears throat> so today is day 10. Magic dust everyone. St. Ambrose said, no duty is more urgent than that of returning thanks. Ancient spiritual teachings say that what we give to another person with a full heart returns to us as a hundredfold. So being grateful and saying thank you to another person for anything you receive from them is not only urgent, it's vital to improving your life. Gratitude is a powerful energy. And so whomever you direct gratitude's energy towards, that's where it goes. If you think of gratitude's energy looking like sparkling magic dust, then when you express get gratitude to another person in return for something you've received from them, you are literally sprinkling them with that magic dust. The powerful positive energy in magic dust reaches and affects whomever you sprinkle it on. Most of us make contact with many people every day, whether on the phone, through email, or face-to-face -face at work, in stores, restaurants, elevators, buses, or trains. And in many cases, the people we make contact with deserve our gratitude because we are receiving something from them. Think about the people you encounter on a typical day who provide you with some kind of service, like those working in stores or restaurants, bus or cab drivers, customer service people, cleaners, or the staff at your work. The people who work in service are giving themselves to serve you, and you're receiving their service. If you don't say thank you in return for their service, then you're not being grateful and you're stopping the good from coming into your life. Think about the maintenance workers who keep our transport systems working safely, and those who maintain the service of utilities such as electricity, gas, water, and our roads. Think about the cleaners of the world who clean our streets, public bathrooms, trains, buses, airplanes, hospitals, restaurants, supermarkets, and office buildings. You can personally say thank you to all of them, but you can sprinkle them with magic dust by saying thank you next time you pass one of them. And you can be grateful next time you sit at your clean desk or walk on a clean sidewalk or across a polished floor. When you're at a cafe or restaurant, sprinkle magic dust by saying thank you to each person as, you, as they serve you whether cleaning the table, giving you the menu, receiving your order, filling your glass with water, serving the meal you ordered, clearing the table, giving you the bill, or giving your change. Remember to say thank you every single time. If you're in a store or supermarket checkout, sprinkle magic dust and say thank you to the person who serves you or packs your groceries. If you're traveling by plane, sprinkle magic dust by saying thank you to the check-in people the people in security, the person who checks your ticket as you board, and the cabin crew who greet you as you enter the plane. During the flight, say thank you to the cabin crew every time they perform a service for you. Serving drinks and food or removing your plate or trash is a service. The airline thanks you for flying with them, the captain thanks you, and the crew thank, crew thank you. So do the same and thank them as you leave the plane. And every time you take off and land at your destination, say thank you, because the fact that you can fly is an absolute miracle. Be grateful to those people who assist you in your work, whether they are clerical staff, receptionists, canteen staff, cleaners, customer service people, or any of your work colleagues. Magic dust them with all with thank you. All of them are doing you a service and they deserve your continued gratitude in return. Store assistants, waiters, and waitresses work very hard to serve people. 
They have chosen a job to serve other people and serving the public means encountering all kinds of people in varying moods, including those who are ungrateful. Next time you're being served by another person, remember that the person who is serving you is a precious daughter or son to parents, an irreplaceable brother or sister to siblings, a mother or father to a family and children, and a loved and adored partner or friend, and they deserve your kindness and patience. At times you may encounter a person in service who behaves rudely towards you or doesn't give you the attention you think you deserve. It may be more challenging to be grateful in these situations, but your gratitude cannot be dependent on another person's behavior. Choose to be grateful no matter what. Choose magic in your life no matter what. It might help you to remember that you don't know what difficulty someone might be going through at the time you connect with him or her. They may be feeling unwell. They may have just lost a loved one. Their marriage might have just ended, or they may be in desperation at a tipping point in their life. Your gratitude and kindness might be the most magical thing that happens to them that day. Be kind for everyone you meet is fighting a hard battle. If you thank someone on the phone for his or her help, don't throw away your thank you. Instead, give the reason why you're grateful. For example, thank you for your help. Thank you for going out of your way for me. Thank you for giving me so much of your time. Thank you for resolving the situation for me. I'm very grateful to you. You will be amazed at the response from the other person when you do this one simple thing because they will feel your, your sincerity. When you say thank you to someone in person, look at his or her face. They will not feel your gratitude or receive your magic dust unless you look directly at them. You've wasted an opportunity to help that person and to change your own life if you say thank you to the air or say thank you as you're looking down or thank you while you're on your cell phone because you're not really sincere when you do that. A couple of years ago, I was in a store buying a gift for my sister. The store assistant who served me listened to what I was looking for and then went on to search for the perfect gift as though it was for her sister. As the store assistant handed me the bag containing the perfect, beautifully wrapped gift, I received a call on my cell phone. I was finishing the call when I reached the front entrance of the store and suddenly an unsettled feeling swept over me. I immediately returned to the store assistant who had helped me and I not only thanked her, but I told her all the reasons why I was grateful to her and how much I appreciated everything she did for me. I showered her with gratitude's magic dust. Her eyes filled with tears and the biggest smile you've ever seen swept across her face. Every action always has an equal reaction. If you really mean it when you say thank you, the other person will feel it. And you will not only have made another person feel really good, but your gratitude will fill you with an indescribable happiness. That day, I walked out of the store indescribably happy. I don't use magic dust only for the people who serve. I use gratitude's magic dust in all kinds of situations. When I say goodbye to my daughter before she drives to her home, I feel gratitude for her having arrived home safely. And I wave my fingers in the air and imagine sprinkling dust over her and her car. Sometimes I sprinkle magic dust on my computer before I begin a new project or sprinkle magic dust ahead of me before I walk into a store to look for something in particular that I need. My daughter uses magic dust when she's driving. And if she sees another driver who seems to be stressed and is speeding, she sprinkles magic dust over them to help make them feel better and keep them safe. Today, take gratitude's magic dust with you for the people who work in service and look for every opportunity you can to sprinkle magic dust on everyone by saying thank you. Thank at least 10 people who perform different services you benefit from today. It doesn't matter if you don't get the opportunity to do it in person, you can mentally acknowledge the people whose service you benefit from. The magic dust will still reach them, 
as an example, mentally say to yourself, I am really grateful to the cleaners who work through the early hours of the morning, making sure that the streets are cleaned of trash every day. I've never really thought about how grateful I am for that service, which is done like clockwork every day. Thank you. Make sure you keep count of the people in service you are grateful for so that you know when you have thanked 10 different people for their service and sprinkled magic dust on them. If you imagine the sparkling magic dust falling over people when you thank them, you have a picture of what really happens in the invisible with the power of gratitude. With this picture in your mind, it will help you to believe and know that the magic dust of gratitude really does reach people and it will be available to help them to improve their lives. And every time you sprinkle magic dust over another person, it also returns to you in your own life. If you're at home today, then sit down with a pen and journal or on your computer and go back in your mind recalling instances where people in service went out of their way for you. It may have been someone on the phone or it may have been a trade person who was determined to resolve a problem for you. Maybe you've received a great service from your mail person, the trash collectors or recycling companies or local store assistants. Make a written list of 10 instances where people in service helped you and send magic dust by saying thank you to every one of them. Magic reminder, read through tomorrow's practice today because the practice for day 11 begins when you first wake up. So magic practice number 10, magic dust everyone. Count your blessings, make a list of 10 blessings, write why you're grateful, reread your list. At the end of each blessing, say thank you, Thank you, thank you. And feel as grateful for that blessing as you can. Number two, today sprinkle magic dust on 10 people who perform services you benefit from. By thanking them directly or otherwise by mentally acknowledging and thanking them. Feel grateful to them for the service they perform. Number three, just before you go to bed tonight, hold your magic rock in one hand and say the magic words, thank you for the best thing that happened during that day. And number four, read through tomorrow's practice today because the practice for day 11 begins when you first wake up. Thank you very much for that, Crystal. The magic happens when you first wake up. How do you align yourself? How do you get yourself in tune with the way you want your energies and your vibrations to roll today? Your habits are the biggest key. What are you doing when you first wake up? Are you giving gratitude for everything that you truly have within the, the day, within your life? That was powerful reading right there. Thank you, Ms. Crystal, once again, for the clarity of how people were able to receive that message. Many may not understand it, but what we're talking about right here is something that we all have within. That's your power your power to harness everything that you want within your life. Get in alignment with it and it will move you to a total different direction. Start shifting your habits that haven't been working for you and implement some new habits that may work for you. That's what this whole program within Here's Life Motors is, Motivators has been all about, is to inspire you to do something better for yourself today than you did yesterday. Reading their book, listening to YouTube channels, coming into Life Motivators, going to the gym that you keep saying you want to go to, starting that different food program that you may want to start. Go buying you a new pair of shoes that you can go do some walking with. Whatever it is, go do something for you today that is going to move and inspire you to do more within your life. Because we have all been at that Groundhog Day. For too long so let's move out of the groundhog day he learned every day with inside of that movie right there of what he was not doing and what he could be doing and what did it turn out he started doing something for others every day not just himself he started giving his love to others throughout the day saying thank you opening the doors helping people with the grocery bags Simple little things right there that didn't truly 
take anything from him, but yet it brought more back to him in that movie. And then once he actually understood the new habits that he was implementing, he was able to move forward within his life and not live that Groundhog Day anymore. We are the same within here. We wanted something more within our life, but we didn't know how. But once we started paying attention, like Jen just said, what's happening with inside of you and around you, and you can move your life into that different direction. We're going to wrap this up today with Miss Shannon with her powerful affirmations. Go ahead, Miss Shannon. Morning, everybody. I know that to help heal others, I must first heal myself. To, to do this, I must practice being gentle in all areas of my life. After working through all the emotions that I need to, I release the ones that no longer serve me. I replace guilt with acceptance. I exchange fear for love. I have a warm and caring heart. Every cell in my body radiates peace. And because of this, I now become an example of peace to others. I know that in every situation, love and kindness is the answer. I am so thankful to know this incredibly beautiful truth, and I practice it daily. We, as life motivators, practice it daily. We're inspiring you to be that moving cell of love, happiness, and kindness. Thank you, Ms. Shannon, for those powerful affirmations that you give us every day within here to inspire us. We thank everybody that has come in here with us each day to get just a little bit of snippet of how to change your habits, your thought processes, and the words that you speak to you. Y'all have an awesome day. Love and appreciate y'all. We'll see y'all tomorrow.